Hello everyone, my name is Eric and I'm very excited to show you my review on the Anki Drive. I added a link in the description below where you can pick one up from Amazon to get the best price and the fastest shipping. Okay, let's get into the review. A quick summary about Anki Drive is that it's part video game, part real life combat racing. All you need is a starter kit, which you'll see me using in a compatible smartphone. When I first saw Anki Drive, I thought it was just a basic racing game, like slot cars. But after doing some research and testing it out, it is so much more than what it appears. You can race, battle friends, play against a computer, and you and a friend can even battle the computer's AI or artificial intelligence. It really is tons of fun and very easy to learn. I think it's a great toy for both kids and parents that they can all play together. In the video, you'll see me playing against Carmen and the AI. The track is huge. To give you some perspective, here's Carmen on the track. So just make sure you have the room to lay this giant track out. The starter kit comes with everything you need to get started. It includes two cars, the Bosun and the Korai, a special track, I'll talk more about this later, charging stations, and tire cleaner to get all the hair and dust off your car's tires. The app gives you a helpful tutorial that walks you through the controls and how the cars drive on your smartphone or iPad. The app is free and you don't have to worry about being charged for anything like upgrading the car. I was a little cautious about hidden upgrade fees since so many free games charge for extra turns, gyms, and stuff like that. The points you use to upgrade your car are earned by playing the game, either with friends or by yourself. You can just play by yourself against the AI and just keep building your points. Now there are some rumors out there that these will only work on iPhone and that's just not true. Maybe in the earlier versions, but the link that I put in the description will include the latest version that works with Android as well. Uh, in the video, I'm using an Android LG G2 and Carmen is using a Samsung S5, both Android phones. I added a link in the description where you can find all the compatible phones below. My phone isn't listed there, but it still works, so make sure to do a little research on what phones are compatible. The cars are extremely intelligent. They compute 500 times per second sensing the track their position, their speed, and steering while communicating back and forth with your iPhone or Android. Playing against the AI is fun, and you can set the difficulty level from easy, medium, to hard. The track is very interesting. It looks black to you and I, but it actually has code built into it that the cars can read and know exactly where they're at at all times. What makes this toy even more special is that the creators were getting their PhDs in robotics when they came up with the design. You can tell that this toy was very well thought out by people who were extremely passionate about it. In college, these guys worked on machine learning, walking robots, and autonomous vehicles. They spent over five years on it, and it shows in the quality of the product. Everything from the packaging to the cars to the racetrack, you can just tell there's a lot of quality and a lot of thought put into it. As you get better, your car will evolve. The car's weapons, speed, and abilities change as time goes on, making it fun and challenging even after months of playing it. You can see Carmen's car, the Korai, use its tractor beam here to slow me down and then get into firing range. And she just disabled my car. Now that black car there, that doesn't come with the starter kit. That's the Korax. We bought that separately. Uh, it's been a really fun car to, to gang up on and challenge. Um, Carmen and I will set our phones um, against the AI or the computer. And here you can hear the Korax charging its EMP and releasing it to disable my car. As you play, you earn points that you can use to upgrade your car, like increasing speed, boosting your shield strength, powering up your weapons, and much more. Each car will actually keep its upgrades that you put on it. Even if you trade your car with a friend, those points stay with the car. They're actually coded into the car. This is not some gimmick toy that your kids will play with for an hour and never touch again. This is a well thought out, fun pack toy that both adults and kids will enjoy playing with. Now, I'll quickly go over the Anki cars and some tips on taking care of your track. First, I'll go over the two cars that come with the starter kit, the Bosun and the Kurai. The Bosun, or the fast attacker, has a tractor beam, which reels in competition for an easy attack. It has a gravity beam, which is a tractor beam upgrade that slows down enemies and draws them into your fire. And then we have the Kurai, which is the yellow car, it's the agile striker. 
it has the tractor beam as well, just like the boson. And then it has a beam disruptor, which disrupts enemy tractor beams and reduces their, their ability to slow you down. And then you have the Korax, which is the Savage Fighter, has a Vulcan Cannon, which damages all enemy robot cars in firing range, and a Universal Mount, which allows you to equip weapons in both ways. There's the Spectrix, which is the Cunning Trickster. It has the Scrambler, which emits a signal that throws nearby opponents' control systems into disarray, causing them to veer uncontrollably off the track. It also has a Chaos Pulse, which basically causes enemies' uh, weapons to fire uncontrollably. There's also the Katal, the Row, and the Hadian. There are three tracks available. This is the one that's included with the starter kit. There's also the Crossroads and the Bottleneck, which offer some cool challenges. The track has a sticky feel to it. This helps keep the cars from slipping and enables tight cornering. To extend the life of your track, I would recommend not touching it or letting pets walk on it because it's kind of like the sticky side of a piece of tape. The more you touch it, the less traction you're going to get. Plus, Handprints are very hard to get off the track, even after cleaning it with a microfiber towel. I learned this the hard way. Now there are some weapons that will sometimes knock the cars off the track, and ramming other cars will sometimes cause them to veer off, which is pretty fun to watch. Now storing your track is easy. Just make sure to keep that thick paper that comes with your track and overlay it on your track before rolling it up. That will keep your track looking brand new. Thank you so much for watching my review on the Anki Drive. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you guys want to pick this up, I put a link in the description below. My name is Eric. Goodbye. No, 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 you're sharpening me. Oh, he's got a CMP. Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. He's going to release it, and we're both going to get the city. Bro! I'm the first. Oh, yeah. No! You're doing it to me. You must not pay for his place. Stop.